biological control, insects serving the planet. It is using nature to fight against its misdeeds. A sensible alternative called biological control. A reliable means of reducing the numbers of an invading organism, a plant or an animal, by making it devoured by one of its natural enemies. Biological control, insects serving the planet. The fight against insect pests of human crops has always represented a significant challenge for any agricultural activity, anywhere in the world. This is why the production of pesticides, which nevertheless entails severe risks for our health, the environment and biodiversity, has experienced a meteoric rise. The biological control, meanwhile, does not pollute the field or garden or water. It poses no threat to humans, plants or animals. Biological control, for a natural reduction of insect pests. Moreover, while chemical pesticides kill all insects, pests or harmless, the biological control does not eliminate or repels the pests. Biological control. A practical method to protect crops. To cite a known example, to fight against the European corn borer, a caterpillar which significantly reduces production, flooding releases of trichogramma, a hymenoptera, are carried out in the field, between 300,000 and 600,000 individuals released per hectare. This microhymenoptera then lay pests in the body, such as moths, their larvae which will kill their host at birth. A sustainable, efficient and environmentally friendly method that also works for other crop pests to such an extent that there are currently an estimated 32 million hectares worldwide, treated in this way each year. A sustainable method. It has many advantages, there is little chance that insect pests will develop resistance to their natural predators in the context of biological control. Also, biological control is potentially more economical than using chemical pesticides over the long term since farmers do not need to purchase expensive chemicals or equipment. By practicing biological control, they also reduce the outputs of their agricultural machinery. Suppose they organize their operation in such a way as to keep these cultivation aids permanently for the following years. In that case, they can even secure their activity much more than they could conventionally. Biological control. Once the biological control system is in place, it operates autonomously. However, it takes a little patience to see the results, as the natural balance between insect pests and their predators is established over time. If the natural predator of the insect pest lives nearby, biological control will be simplified. If there is no favorable environment for these culture aids, a way will have to be found to encourage their presence. What are natural predators? There are three kinds of natural predators to insect pests, insect predators, parasites and diseases that promote microorganisms such as viruses and fungi. Who are the predators, controlled by entomophagy? The main predators are insects such as ladybugs, mantises, lacewings or even dragonflies. But we also count birds that play the same role as well as small mammals such as shrews. Each predator feeds on hundreds or even thousands of insects during its lifetime and does not damage crops. Who are the parasites, parasitoid control? Most insects lay their eggs inside the eggs or bodies of living insects or animals called hosts regarding insect parasites. The parasite feeds on the host as it grows and then kills it. This technique is slower but efficient. What is microbiological control? Finally, some viruses and fungi are vectors of diseases that affect insects and kill them. As the infection spreads among insects, it is possible to wipe out entire populations quickly. Biological control. As a reminder, the majority of insect species are beneficial to us by playing several ecological roles for our activities and are, in any case, part of the food chain and ecosystems. Less than 1% of them are pests. They are the staple food of many bird and reptile species, and the pollination of an incredible number of plant species depends on them.